E F P C. Could you please give your statement, joint statement? Thank you, dear chair, president, regional director, ministers, delegates, and colleagues. On behalf of many non-state actors and the European Forum for Primary Care members, we would like to acknowledge the relevance of the proposed resolution realizing the potential of primary health care and its policy considerations and of this special session on primary health care. The COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted health and social care systems on a global scale. The pandemic has once again proven that strong primary care contributes to lower hospital care burden, to effective epidemic surveillance, and to the delivery of at-home care tailored to the people's needs. In the current environment, member states have a responsibility to invest in health systems that drive health promotion and prevention through primary health care, as reaffirmed in the Astana Declaration and in line with the Sustainable Development Goals. To realize these commitments and to build a sustainable primary health care, strong global equity must be established. The undersigned non-state actors and EFPC members call upon member states in the European region to invest in the future sustainability of primary health care based on the following recommendations. One, optimize resource allocation and financing to allow reorganization of workload and patient flows while maintaining regular primary health care. Address inadequate personal protective equipment and staffing shortages. Two, develop accessible and user-friendly digital health solutions, facilitate and increase access to healthcare services and encourage self-management. Three, provide psychosocial support for vulnerable populations such as older people chronically ill, those requiring palliative care, low-income groups and ethnic minorities, as well as their caregivers, particularly women who have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic. Four, co-create with the community readily understandable, culturally acceptable health communication and prevention tailored to their needs and engage and empower primary care professionals to this effect. Five, enhance and expand interprofessional collaboration for the multidisciplinary teams, support the development of health and literacy skills to navigate the complex landscape of emerging technologies so that lessons learned present an opportunity to tackle future challenges, adopting efficient systems to swiftly respond and to deliver high quality, affordable, integrated, person-centered primary health care. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I apologize that uh, because of the time constraints, we can't now have the other non-state actors uh, joint statements here. 